Hi friends, welcome to part 2 of uh, our series on arithmetic reasoning and in this part of the video we are going to look at some more examples. Okay, in the first part we saw an example of a few friends going to a movie. Now let's take a look at this example that is there on your screen. So the question says a toothbrush costs 35 rupees whereas a toothpaste costs rupees 25. Aman spends 190 rupees on these items. So the number of toothbrushes purchased is 3, 4, 2 or data inadequate. Now again let me quickly evaluate the options. Option A says 3 toothbrushes. Okay, so if 3 toothbrushes are purchased then the spend on toothbrushes is going to be 3 into cost per toothbrush 35. That will give me rupees 105. Now my total spend is 190. So that means I would have spent 85 rupees on toothpaste which is not possible because a toothpaste costs 25 rupees and 85 is not divisible by 25. So I can't buy uh, toothpastes costing 25 rupees by spending 85 rupees. Either I have to spend 75 rupees or I have to spend 100 rupees in multiples of 25. So I will take a look at option B, 4 whether Aman bought 4 toothbrushes. So if Aman bought 4 toothbrushes that means his expenditure on toothbrushes was 4 into 35 that is rupees 140 which means he spent 50 rupees on toothpaste which is fine. I can buy 2 toothpastes for 50 rupees by spending 25 rupees each ok so that will be my answer again if I evaluate option C 2 toothbrushes will cost 70 rupees and I can't spend the remaining 120 rupees buying toothpaste ok when one toothpaste costs 25 rupees I will either have to spend 100 rupees or 125 rupees so the only combination that I can make is that he bought 4 toothbrushes and 2 tubes of toothpaste totaling 140 plus 50, 190 rupees and that is the correct answer. Okay, so it is much much easier evaluating it uh, using options friends. Okay, so similarly let us take a look at one last example. Uh, 5 bells begin to toll together and toll respectively at intervals of 6, 5, 7, 10 and 12 seconds. How many times will they toll together in one hour? excluding the one at the start ok so again friends we have different intervals and uh, they toll together once and then they start uh, ringing at different time intervals so when I have to find a time uh, which at which all of them will toll together I want to find a number that is divisible by all of these numbers divisible by 6, 5, 7, 10 as well as by 12 so simply I will take the LCM of these numbers. So I will take the LCM of 5, 6, 7, 10 and 12. Okay. So I will see which factors go over here. First I will take 2. So 2 does not go into 5, stays at 5. Uh, 6 becomes 3. 7 stays as it is. 10 becomes 5 and 2 or uh, 12, 2 goes into 12 6 times. Okay, again I will divide by 2. So 5, 3, and 7 stay the same. 5 also stays the same. And 6, 2 goes into 6 3 times. Okay, now I can't divide by 2 anymore. So I will divide by 3. So I will get 5, 1, 7, 5, and 1. Uh, divide by 5 using the simple method to calculate LCM. 1, 1, 7, 1, 1 and finally by 7. So I get 1 everywhere. Now I will take the product of these numbers. So I get 2 into 2, 4 into 2 into 3, uh, 12 into 5, 60 into 7, 4, 20. 4, 20. So the bells will toll together again after 4, 20 seconds. Now my options are in minutes, okay, or rather in times. I want to find out how many times will they toll together in one hour, excluding the one at the start. So they will toll together every 420 seconds. That means how many minutes? 
So if I want to convert 420 seconds into minutes, I have to divide 420 by 60 because there are 60 seconds in 1 minute. So I will get 7 minutes. So the bells toll together in uh, together every 7 minutes. And how many uh, 7 minute intervals are there in 1 hour? So there are 60 minutes in 1 hour and the bells are tolling together every 7 minutes. 7 goes into 60, 8 point sometimes, okay. Uh, but I am not concerned with the part after decimal because the ninth toll together will be after 1 hour. Okay, so they will toll together after 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. So totally 8. These bells will toll together 8 <coughs> times during uh, that 1 hour interval. So my correct option is going to be B. 8 times they will toll together. Okay, so these uh, simple mathematical problems will be asked in arithmetic reasoning friends and using these techniques you will be able to solve these problems. Okay, so that's it for arithmetic reasoning. I'll see you again in another topic.